Okay, if you found this video, you've probably made your way here as a result of my classified ad for this uh, Feel Free Lure 13.5. Uh, do a walk around here so that you can see some of the stuff that's on it. Um, of course, it's got the, uh, the Newport uh, 55 thrust. This is a saltwater trolling motor. The bracket, the retracts, everything else I've basically made myself. Uh, I've got a the 12 volts. I believe that's a 55 amp hour battery, a glass mat battery. There's a uh, uh, a pulse uh, width modulator inside the battery box, uh, which helps this battery actually run this trolling motor for a considerable amount of time. I've got a uh, uh, basically a bait well live well with rod holders on it that uh, I made myself it's got uh, if you can see inside this it's got uh, the uh, Atwood tsunami pump uh, and an overflow tube and this thing actually brings in water up in uh, through the scupper hole in the bottom of the kayak and then on that plug if you pull the plug on the overflow you can adjust the water level and the overflow will also go back out through the scupper plug uh, through the scupper hole back out of the kayak. Uh, it runs on its own uh, 12 volt uh, battery that I have right here. Um, of course this thing with the feel free has the multi-position seat. I believe it's a 12 position seat. Uh, here is the controller uh, for the, uh, the modulator that runs the trolling motor. Got the trolling motor running. Um, let me turn that back down and then I'll turn it off. There we go. Uh, it has forward and reverse. Uh, got uh, the Garmin. I believe this is the Striker 4, if I remember correctly. I made a, uh, a sun shield for it that I've got stuck on there with double stick tape. That's made out of some chloroplast that I've painted black. Uh, there is another 12-volt uh, battery inside the sonar pod for the uh, fish finder uh, GPS. Uh, by the way, the trolling motor is, uh, the steering is foot controlled, uh, so it's, you know, it's a completely be a hands-free fishing, uh, method. Uh, I've got the feel-free, uh, slide bracket, uh, that's in the track, uh, with the safety harness and a Scotty rod holder. And what I've also added to this is one of the cam lock, uh, uh, adjusters or holders for the stringer. So you can take... And run the stringer. Um, you can take and run the stringer through the cam lock, and then this will hold right here like that. Anyway, uh, I added that here a while back. That worked out really well. Uh, I've got storage up in the front. Uh, got a uh, kayak anchor. Uh, I think this one has 15 or 20 feet of cord on it. I've got another cord made up over here with a carabiner that adds, I think, another 30 feet to it. Uh, the stringer. Uh, inside the front compartment, let me unlatch it, I've got a, uh, got a little styrofoam cooler that I got that fit this real perfectly and I just fitted it, put it in here. I keep snacks, water, things like that in there when I'm out on the water. Uh, it's got the, uh, uh, anchor trolley added to it. We've got a, uh, stakeout pole, uh, that is, uh, about five feet long. Uh, got, uh, on the other side, I'll just show you the, uh, show you the, uh, the paddle. Got the Bending Branches Whisper Dream paddle. Um, the, uh, let's see here. Oh, also, uh, got the, uh, measure stick. Uh, it's the ACK measure stick. There's a bracket on the, uh, uh, crate that holds that in. Uh, and then over here, I've got just some extra stuff that goes with the kayak, some extra cords, ropes, things that measure. Uh, I've got a light uh, for the front. This is the red and green front bow light you can snap on. Some extra letters. Uh, by the way, this kayak is titled and registered for the state of Texas. It's a requirement for the motor. Got some extra uh, bungees and clips that were originally in the back storage well, which I now have the live well bait well and the battery and everything in so i unclipped all that stuff 
got a, a drift anchor, the yellow and blue drift anchor. Also have a three-bladed prop for the trolling motor. I have a two-blade on it now, but I've got the extra three-blade. Got an extra grab handle. Uh, this is to replace the one that's on the live well bait well if something should ever happen to it, and then an extra anchor leash. Uh, one of the things that I did not put on that I could show you, it also comes with... Uh, got a light that you can put on this. Um, let me let the trolling motor down. Let me let this down. Uh, what I've also got is uh, you can pull this cap right off the top of this right here. And then what I also have is a, a light for the rear that you can mount on here. Uh, so that if you're on the water, of course... Uh, before daylight or after dark, then you will also have uh, your your uh, overall indicator that uh, basically uh, so people can see it. Believe it or not, this light I made this myself as well too, and uh, it's uh, it's just, I forget what the lumen flashlight is, and I just put a, a clear plastic holder around the top of it, and at night this thing can actually be seen from quite some distance. I was very surprised how well that worked out. Anyhow, uh, the kayak, I've had it now for a few years. This is my third kayak. I have loved this kayak, love the setup. It works great. I've been all over fishing in this. Uh, I bought a boat, another boat, about a month ago. And unfortunately now with the boat, my attention for the kayak fishing has kind of wavered. And again, with what I have invested in this one with the batteries and everything else, I'm just afraid that it's going to sit and then batteries are going to go bad and so on. So I'm going to make the opportunity and uh, put it up for sale, and hopefully uh, somebody that's interested uh, will appreciate it as much as I have. I think it's going to be a really good deal. And uh, anyway, thanks. Bye.